Good evening, everybody. Uh, praise the Lord. It's a good evening. I hope everybody has had a good day today. Um, I just want to take a few moments. What a wonderful, powerful message we heard from Pastor Jason tonight from the Barrington Church of God. Uh, awesome worship from uh, Brother Dylan. But tonight we're talking about, all this week we're talking about fear. And the verse uh, today is going to be out of uh, 1 Peter uh, chapter 5. Verse 6 and 7, it says, Humble yourself under the mighty hand of God, that he might exalt you in due time, casting all your cares upon him, because he cares for you. Praise be unto God. God cares for you today. I just want you to know that. He does. And you know, humbling ourselves is, it's not easy for anybody to do. And it seems like it's especially hard for people that have a lot of burdens that they're carrying around. Um, maybe it's because we don't want to admit that we don't always have it all together. Or maybe because we don't want to ask for help. Um, you know, maybe because it's because we've had to do so much for so long that we forget and yes. get used to the fact or we get used to carrying all those burdens and we forget that it doesn't have to be that way. Um, I'm going to be completely transparent tonight and tell you that it's not easy for me to ask for help. And by the time I finally yeah. do ask for help, I'm at my breaking point. Um, you know, God knew that I really needed that message from Jason yes. tonight. It was we very, both needed it tonight. <laughs> very timely for me day. today. Um, these past two days have been tough for me personally to get through. Not because I'm afraid of getting the coronavirus. Um, I know God promised me a long time ago that I would not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. That's mm -hmm. Psalm 118, 17, I believe. Um, but these past two days are were tough because I'm, I'm hard on myself. If I don't live up to my own standards, then and if I feel like I've failed God in some way, then I'm very tough on myself. And I did. I'm going to be honest and admit that I let fear and worry get the best of me these past two days. And I forgot that I can trade my burdens yes. for his burdens. I forgot that that Jesus said he's the, the friend that sticks closer than a brother. He'll trade us his burden for ours because where ours gets heavy and, mm. and tiresome, his burden is light and his yoke is easy. He said, come to me if you're heavy laden um, and I'll give you rest. We don't. We weren't meant to carry these burdens on our on our own. We were meant to humble ourselves and ask for help. Um, Jesus didn't expect us to do it all on our own. That's what He's there for. So tonight, let me share this reassurance with you that God had to really get a hold of me and sh and remind me of and and share with me again today. Um, that he sees it all and he cares about it all. If it's weighing on our heart, if it's Amen. concerning to us, it's weighing on his heart. And you think if your kid, if you know something's bothering your child, it bothers you. Amen. I don't care how old Colton Sosby is. If, if I know something's troubling him, I'm up at night worrying about it, mm. praying about it too. And God is the same way with us. If Amen. we've lost one minute of sleep over it, he knows about it. And, you know, we sometimes think that, you know, whatever mistreatment we faced, whatever struggle we faced, we think, well, God, you know, God's got so much going on and watching in the world that he's not noticing, you know, the things that's happening to us. But he does. There's not one single second of struggle that we face that he doesn't know all about. Even in the in Psalms, I can't remember the verse right off the top of my head, but there's a verse that says he captures every tear that we cry in his bottle, and he Man. keeps a record in his book of all of our sorrows. That's how much he loves us. He knows. And sometimes don't let yourself get um, fooled into thinking yeah, yes. that because he's not fixing it right this second that he's not going to. You know, sometimes we don't understand his timing, but his timing is always perfect because he is perfect. And we do, let me remind you, please remember that we do have a loving God who is ready, 
willing and able, beyond able, to help us to come to our rescue. And, you know, just remember that he will do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask or think. And I just um, want to wanna ask Kendall to close in prayer tonight. I really enjoyed his praying um, last night, and it did help me get good sleep. I hope you guys got good sleep last night. Amen. You know, uh, this verse was saying right here, under the uh, hand of the Almighty God, amen for that. I, I thank God tonight. Uh, let's bow our heads as we go uh, before the Lord and, you know, thanking Him. God, we thank you, God, tonight, Lord God. We thank you for, God, for your reassurance, Lord God, that you're always with us, Lord God. God, we thank you for leading and guiding us, Lord God. We thank you for ordering our steps, Lord God. God, I thank you, God, for protecting me, Lord God. I'm a, your child, God, and you can't camp angels out around me, Lord God, and I thank you and my family, Lord God. God, I just want to pray tonight, everyone that's listening, that's going to, Lord God, that you just bless their families, Lord God, and protect them. In your precious yes, holy name Lord. we pray. Yes. Amen. Good night, family. Good night.